The last issue that I want to address in chapter nine is something that will you know, probably affect any of you at some point or another in your production process. And that is when you run into a bug. So with Blender, particularly having a fast development time, at some point or another while working, you're probably going to run into a bug that may or may not be a hindrance to you. And luckily, these are all user reported and they're very easy to report. So if you run into a bug and you want to report it, which I, you know, everyone of course recommends that you do so that we can further improve Blender even further, but you can report the bug simply by going to the help menu and going down to report a bug. And this will take you to the online bug tracker for Blender. And the first thing to do uh, is to double check on whether or not the bug has already been submitted. So here we can see all of the bugs that have recently been submitted. Now, they're not currently sorted by date, but we could of course do that. But you can see that there's any number of bugs that are known that are being, you know, being addressed. We can see priority, we can see the, op the date they were submitted, who submitted them, who the bug is currently assigned to, and what the status of that bug is. So assuming for a second that we have confirmed the bug, and we've confirmed that it hasn't been reported and we're ready to report it, then first thing to do is create a new account. In this case, I'm just going to log in with my existing account. And then you can go in here and you can simply click Submit New. You've got your bug reporting guidelines. So, you know, double checking. Number one, is it an actual bug? Uh, is it repeatable? Are you, have you been able to check it on another computer? And, or, you know, any other thing, set of things to make sure that it is actually a bug because the Blender development team does see a lot of bugs come through that are not actual bugs or that were not sufficiently examined to see how they are repeatable. And so, of course, you know, they all ask that you try and make sure that it is, of course, actually a bug. Uh, and that they can easily repeat it. And of course, uh, please no feature request submissions. So then you can go in, you can choose the category of the bug. You know, does it relate to modifiers? Does it relate to the animation system? Any other thing specifically? The status, of course, is generally going to be new. And then you can go in and add in a summary, detailed description. If, if you're uh, project uh, or your bug relies on a specific file or anything like that, or if you can create a simplified file that can illustrate the bug, then go ahead and attach those. And the best thing is to always, of course, you know, break it down to as simple as possible. You know, you don't want to go send off the complete scene file, try and break it down to be as simple as possible, and then simply click submit. Once that bug is reviewed or commented on or anything like that, you will receive a, a email notification, you know, notifying you of a comment, if the status has been changed, if it's been solved or anything like that. And that's it. Quite easy to report a bug. The other place that uh, you can also report um, or to at least discuss to see if it's worth reporting. And another place that you can go for support is the IRC channel. So I didn't mention this in the support channel, although I probably should have, but if you're familiar with IRC chats, then there are two channels that you can join, both on the freenode.net network, and they are Blender coders for any kind of development bug or compiling issue. Uh, and then there's also simply just Blender here if you want to join and chat with other Blender users, get support there or anything of the sorts.